Good old solar flares. Where would I be without plentiful solar flares, you know? Uh, the whole area is looking mighty pretty, and all I have is a few sections of overhead mountain. Very few. But I think two points of escape is better than one, so I don't have to travel too far. And a tortoise has wandered in. They're annoying to hunt, but levels up my, uh, my hunting, I suppose. This trade zone is a horrifying. I'm going to have to tidy that up and secure it. I'm well aware of how horrifying it is. And I might be able to just line this wall with more turrets as well. Good shooting, Tex. Got that in no time. Alright, so this project's almost done, which means soon I'll be able to move on to bedrooms. You know, nice things. So, what I'm going to do here is create um, cover walls. And sandbags. To provide some nice cover for the shooters. Um, the bug risk isn't really big, especially given that I have only just a little few spots that are exposed. So it's not terrible. Um, but it isn't insignificant, because those bugs are really, really difficult to kill. Like, extraordinarily difficult to kill. Um, so I wouldn't want them, you know, in my base for an indefinite period of time, you know, sort of hiding out in this mountain. It'd be bad. So now we go, we have a nice, actually rather beautiful little, well, ugly now, but beautiful soon, uh, killing room. And oh, let's turn the beauty off, and alpaca wool being delivered. I'm going to forbid it, I don't need it, at least not right now. I am uh, not growing herbs properly yet now. Uh, the next project I really want to do is cut all of the plants out of here. And because of how plants propagate, once I cut all that out, um, I shouldn't actually have vegetation growing uh, very rapidly because it has to seed from elsewhere. You know, seeds have to blow on the wind and it takes a while. So I'm going to prioritize plant cut now that most of this is done. All the security parts of this section are uh, finished. Um... Yep, throw them all top and run. Well, I might put um, I might put some doors on the other side so that uh, the bugs are constrained and not free to roam about, and I can just burn them out or however I want to deal with them. So bugs are an event, much like an invasion, where what happens is they will spawn in overhead mountains. So if I show you here, in orange I have the expand no roof area, and I have areas of this mountain here that have what's called overhead roof. So if you look at the bottom left corner, I don't know how hard it is to, to read on my current resolution, but it says overhead mountain. Overhead mountain cannot be removed. It's always going to be there. 
Um, so what happens for infestations is bugs will spawn where there is overhead mountain, and uh, they'll spawn hives, and the hives will spawn more bugs. So it's a it can sort of snowball badly, if that makes sense. Um, so actually, thinking of which, I need to check. I have some overhead mountain over here that I need to resolve as well. I need to fill this in uh, promptly with granite. Um, and then, so what happens is the bugs yield insect meat, which is nasty to eat. People don't like eating the insect meat. And they're just very, very hard to kill. They're tough. They can take out, like, plasteel turrets on their own. Um, you know, I had a playthrough where I had a giant infestation problem, and I killed it with fire. But the problem is um, uh, the damage had been done. You know, I had, had already lost too many people, so I sort of decided to uh, give up on that that colony. Which was sad, but uh, it's just, just how it turned out. So now this kill box could use some more turrets, but uh, it's pretty well secured, I'd have to say. I have a question maybe you guys know the answer to. If I fill in more sandbags, I don't think it provides any more cover. I think it only checks the cells you're closest to, but um, if I'm wrong about that, let me know. I'll be checking the, the feed to see if I'm wrong about that. One bad infestation, yeah. I mean, if you've ever... It only really takes one bad infestation to have your entire colony get wiped, and that is pretty much what happened to me, which is why I'm very, very cautious about not having that happen again. Um, Alright, so I'm actually, just to be able to see it easier, I'm going to cut all these plants down. And that's a lot of man hours, but I haven't had uh, a lot of action going on here. I could go on some raids, so I could actually stockpile my food up a bit more, because I'm running low on um, fine food, and go on some raids. But first I want to get the drugs planted. Um, and get back to some research. Of course. Good old research. So let's get rid of all this grass here. I'm going to aim to only really plant on fertile ground for maximum bang for my buck. So that my people aren't spending any extra time once I'm well set up bothering with any other terrain. Um, so the next project will be bedrooms. Proper bedrooms, and I think I can put some bedrooms back here. Of course, I do need spots for um, for farming and animal husbandry and stuff like that. But uh, but bedrooms will come first. So most of this is just crappy gravel. Some of it's 100% uh, fer fertile ground that is dirt. But let's queue the research back up. So put. Morgan back on high high priority research and he maybe deserves a dining chair at least in fact I could put a chair here as well get a little bit more comfortable now I haven't really had any mood issues and I'm not that worried about it um, I even have some people just openly wearing dead man gear and just not caring about it in fact I'll check everyone right now that no one's wearing uh, any dead men gear. And they aren't. That's good. I am 30 years old, if you were wondering. I am, uh... Yep. Yeah, not very old, but not very young. So it's somewhere in the middle there. <laughs> Alright, so for now, actually, that's probably enough corn to sustain me. I have quite a corn... Sur sur surplus. No one's become a good pet trainer yet, but now that I'm done a lot of the manual labor in making sure I have a secured base, I can actually get back to some taming. And I'm going to start with easy stuff like rats and uh, work my way up because I don't want to have a scenario where I'm biting off more than I can chew. I try to tame a panther or something like that and it just tears my face off. That has happened to me in the past, and it sucks. I am from the U.S. I'm originally from Boston. I'm living uh, in the greater Boston area now. But I've 
I've moved around a bit. So I used to live in Southern California and Philadelphia and Maine. Um, but uh, yes, this is this is where I am now on the East Coast. And I realize a lot of my viewers are European, so you're not um, you're not catching the stream at the time I'm streaming at the same time zone. So it looks like I have a lot more fertile ground here. Right off the bat, I'm going to make a uh, heel root, um, a heel root zone, because if I'm going raiding, I'm going to need medicine. I also need a proper doctor, and the one person I was leveling up for medicine has been crippled, so I have to figure that out as well. Uh, but before I figure that out, let's say heel root here, and I have another rat. I'm going to restrict the rat to my rat area. I guess there's already another rat just sort of sleeping there. Yeah, bugs were implemented, as as uh, Lance said. So people used to have these giant, fantastic-sized underground fortresses, like Dwarf Fortress. Um, but they were relatively impenetrable because of how unbelievably secure they were in the spot they were. So... Um, Tynan implemented a infestation mechanic to um, sort of not fully prohibit. I mean, you're still allowed to build underground like that, but to dissuade people from doing it because um... okay, that's annoying. Um, because, you know, these underground fortresses were somewhat impossible to siege. They were... Uh... They were just, you know, almost impenetrable. Not fully impenetrable, but but uh, you could just have layers and layers and layers of defenses that would take defenders, you know, years to, to truly penetrate. So uh, that was the changes that were made there. And I sort of agree with them. I mean, it was fun to have these giant underground mountains, uh, but they were too, too strong. They were definitely too strong. All right, so this farming zone is just about done. I just got a multi-analyzer. I did buy the gold for the multi-analyzer, so I can get that going immediately. I don't have the plasteel, but there is a plasteel zone. Ooh, some nice fire. There is a plasteel zone um, somewhere down here, I remember. It was east, southeast, maybe? Somewhere around here. I'm seeing grizzly bears and stuff like that. I don't really want to run into grizzly bears. So there's some plasteel here. That's really, really far away. Oh, here it is. Not the closest in the world, but for a multi-analyzer, maybe worth the trip. Sorry about that. The fire is lagging out the zone a little. <laughs> Whole guard wins, yeah. So, for one, one reason or another, I haven't had any real raids yet. Uh, which, I was looking forward to having some, some proper raids. So, uh, hopefully the storyteller cranks up the difficulty a little and gives me the raids I'm seeking. But I will go raiding here if I don't get it. So I'm going to start queuing up a bunch of cooking here for meals, better quality meals, and if I, if the storyteller doesn't give me the raids I'm looking for, I will go seek them out myself. So here I'm going to expand my um, kitchen area a little bit. I'm going to put the batteries... Um, like deeper in here. It's really turning out to be a weird amorphous shape, but uh, I'll put my batteries at the end of this sort of tunnel and and uh Oh, my rat. It's because it has no food. Uh I'll just give it a little bit of food for now. I, you know what? I'm not even going to rescue it. I'll just butcher it. I mean, there was no chance of rescuing it. It just died almost immediately of mal malnutrition anyway. They're just really training to be able to tame oh there's a big fire uh bigger and better things wow a fire erupted in the bedroom where i had people that's uh that's rough all right let's rest and who is my new dr griffiths For now, I'm going to flick off the uh, 
some of the extra stuff I don't need. To try to get my power back up. I do need a backup uh, battery area, which I'll implement soon. Because this constant power fluctuation is pretty annoying. But once it's daytime, it'll be fine. Haha, <laughs> you're sad about the rats? Well, they can eat each other now. If you really want me to keep the rats alive, uh, here, how about this? I will, right here, put a preferred stockpile of corn. So they can eat some corn. Oh, they're eating each other. Well, Amy, I, I don't think that satisfies your needs, but hey, at least they're eating now, right? So I'm actually going to tell them that they're not allowed here, so they don't take that shortcut. We have that door closed. Alright, so they had the brilliant idea of expanding a roof here, which I don't understand why they queued that up. So I'm going to remove that, obviously. It does not help, especially given the power situation I am having. So thanks, guys. And some exotic good traders. So, Trillo, that's you. You're the one that can speak to them fancy people. Oh, and that's why that's off. So let's fix that. Alright, so let's see. I could buy the plasteel steel that I need, which wouldn't be bad. Oh, medical neuro trainer is something I'd really want. So let's um, let's patch this. Oh, Morgan's already doing it. And toxic fallout, lovely. Just getting better and better. So Morgan, where are you running from? Where are you all going? Oh, you're digging at the Plasteel. Yeah, I'm going to cancel that for now. I can buy the Plasteel. Yeah, rats apparently do eat rats. Alright, so Trillo, get back to this. There we go. I'm going to sell the wake-up for now. Um, so I can buy... Actually, let's figure this out. How much Plasteel do I need? I need... 50 of it. So let's buy 50 Plasteel. Sell my wake up. Sell these crappy pants. Uh, I do need an eye and a hand. I don't see that they're selling eyes and hands. I'm going to buy the Medicine Neuro Trainer, which I think is going to be important. Sell the Broken Toque. Um, keep the gold that I'll need for that already project and this actually reduces a lot of the colony value because of that uh, medicine neuro trainer so let's see who will take that I think I'm still gonna give it to Gwen um, but for now I'm gonna haul it and just hope that I get a new hand for Gwen Gwen of course is uh, single-handed <laughs> right now she had her hand shot off, which is pretty gory. Um, so it looks like I need a new source of steel. So that will be my next little project, is getting some additional steel in, up in this base. But let's fill in the infestation zones here. 